Getting started with the MA8000, brought to you by Screening Eagle. This tutorial video will aim to get users acquainted with the MA8000. This device is the GPS rover that is included in the GS8000 Pro kit. You can expect to learn how to connect the MA8000 with the iPad and choose the correct settings for your survey. Getting these steps right will allow us to collect accurately geo-referenced ground penetrating radar data while out in the field. We begin the process by opening up the GS app and clicking on the position tile. From here, you will notice three different tabs at the top of the screen, connectivity, coordinate system, and system information. To begin pairing the unit, we will start in connectivity. We will then click the scan button to scan the QR code that is embedded on the bottom of the MA8000. Here on out, your device will live in the device library. and You can simply connect by pressing the Bluetooth button. You will notice a green icon indicating that you are now connected. We also have many more options than before in the connectivity, coordinate system, and system information tabs. In the connectivity pane, we can begin to choose our desired settings. You can alter the antenna height if you are using a smaller or larger survey rod. You can click the green start button if you are ready to start grabbing online corrections. Additionally, you have the option to use SSR augmentation or RTK Ntrip if you have a license for a third-party correction service. In the coordinate system pane, you will select your state plane coordinate system that you will be operating in. We have hundreds of options within the EPSG state plane coordinate system database. You can also choose to operate within UTM zones by clicking on the projection type. Additionally, you have the option to load a geoid or operate within a local grid. The system information pane holds valuable information such as serial number, contract type, contract expiration date, and firmware version. When you feel comfortable with all of your settings, it is important to return to the connectivity tab and click the start button to start grabbing online corrections. In the top right corner of the app, you will see a target icon. This icon will display your corrections. You will bounce between single, float, and fixed. It is important to remember that you want to start data collection when you have achieved a fixed positioning status. This target icon will also display the number of satellites that your GPS is communicating with and your horizontal and vertical tolerances.